synthetic nutrients, killing off microbes. Now, it's often said that mineral-based or synthetic nutrients, salt-based, is going to cause a high salinity environment that's going to kill off the microbial life in the soil. Now, some people say that that's true. You know, a lot of organic gardeners, they avoid bottled nutrients because of that. And other folks say that that's false, that these microbes are able to withstand the high salinity environment down in the root zone. What's your take on that? I mean, I think soil microorganisms are capable of living in environments that um, are pretty intense. I think there's some evidence to suggest they can even survive on comets that have been you know, maybe not comets, but like some spacecraft that have been launched out of space. I remember there was a study that was done on water bears, tardigrada was the genus, and they had launched them into outer space basically and noticed that, you know, the intense radiation outside of the atmosphere of the earth, um, these water bears were capable of surviving and and actually reproducing. So um, in some cases, I think the same thing is true of fungi and microbes. I think there's even a theory out there that suggests that either beneficial microbes or fungi you know, once came from a different planet and they somehow survived on a comet that smashed into the planet and that's how life started or spread. So if you just look at the uh, ability of these microorganisms to survive in extremely harsh environments, it becomes clear that, you know, a little bit of ionized fertilizer isn't really going to damage them sufficiently enough to kill them. Um, I would say in most cases, the microbes themselves have the ability to resist those types of stressors, if you will. And then also keep in mind that anything that really directly benefits the plant, the microbes will find a way to dovetail into that operation because their primary interest is in getting sugars from the plant, right? So they form these beneficial relationships. The plant will photosynthesize and produce sugars. And even if you're using a synthetic fertilizer, as long as the plant is healthy and it's growing, it's very likely that the plant is capable of also supporting beneficial relationships in the soil too. So that's a major consideration. Um, I will say that there are Um, physical and chemical changes that can happen to the soil depending on how much organic matter is going to be present inside of a feed program i guess you could say if you're just feeding pure salt-based fertilizer with no organic matter whatsoever no humic acid no sea plant extracts no terrestrial plant extracts just salt-based fertilizer over time the introduction of high concentrations of these elements can start to strip away at the organic matter And it's really the loss of the organic matter in soils that's tied to a decline in the populations of beneficial microbes and beneficial fungi. So if you can focus on building up that healthy soil chemistry, effectively what that means is that you're building up the supply of carbon available for those microorganisms to thrive on. And if that, if anything attacks that directly, like, you know, nitrates and other um, salt-based compounds, that come in through, you know, salt-based fertilizer programs, those can actually start to directly impact the concentration of organic matter. And as that decreases, so too does the populations of beneficial microbes and fungi. But as far as the direct link between, you know, the salt-based fertilizers and the viability of beneficial microbes and fungi, I think it's a little bit more disconnected. Like there's, there's other layers of stuff that you have to work through in order to get to that downstream effect of, yeah, this damaged the soil biology. Well, how did it damage the soil biology? It stripped all the carbon. um, It removed everything that the microbes depend on for life, basically. And, you know, that's ultimately what ends up happening. This clip is brought to you by Happy Hydro. For all your garden equipment needs, visit happyhydro.com. Link is in the video description and use the discount code MrGrowIt 